Lariki. And uh, before we meet our next guest, I'd like to have a talk about how you can distance yourself from a member of your family if you feel you really have to, because there are those situations, aren't there, when there's nothing to be done, that person mm. is just going to cause you trouble. What do you do? How do you go about distancing yourself? Well, the first thing is to set a clear boundary, and that boundary has to come from a place of respect and calm and you're respect for oneself, yeah. firstly, and respect for the other person. Because, yeah, if you're screaming at the other person, this is what I want, and yeah. demanding it, you're more likely to fail r rather than saying, look, this is how things are, this is what's going to happen, this is what is not going to happen. And right. just being very clear, very firm about it, not entering into a huge amount of dialogue about it as well, and sticking to it, that is the real key. Because so many people set a boundary and then ten seconds later... Oh, no, I didn't mean well, we've it. We've seen that on the show. Yeah. They came round to the house and they let them in and, and that person still thinks yeah. they've got a chance. There's got to be a consistency so the message has got across. Yeah, and you don't. Have, and I guess in the end you shouldn't feel guilty about it if Absolutely. it protects you. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. OK, thank you, Ricky.